Well, hello again and welcome back to the wonderful world of Skyrim. Thanks for joining me again. Those of you who follow my channel may know that for the past two weeks I've been on a bit of a vacation. My girlfriend and I rented a little beach house, just steps from the beach. And for the two weeks that we were there, I did no recording at all. So it's been well over two weeks, maybe even three weeks since I last recorded an episode of Skyrim. And at the end of the last episode, I asked you guys for uh, some suggestions on what you think I should do next or what you'd like to see me do next. A couple of you said uh, return to Solstheim and uh, continue on with the quests there. Uh, I think one of you said resume the main quest at the Throat of the World. So we can certainly do that. Uh, somebody mentioned these paragons that I have in my inventory here. Let's see if I could find these things that we got from those, uh, I guess, giants in um, whatever that place was called. We get these things. I don't know how I'm supposed to find what those are other than go online and look. And I generally don't do that. I like to try to find things out in game. So I have no idea how I'm supposed to find anything out about these things unless I went online. But thanks for reminding me about them. <laughs> Somebody suggested that I get married. I don't know how to do that either. Uh, I don't feel like the game has explained that. I know that uh, some people have left some comments explaining how to get married, but heck if I remember what that is. And again, if the game doesn't tell me how to do it, how am I supposed to do it? I, like I said, I don't really like to go online because spoilers and s such. Uh, but anyway, uh, somebody asked <laughs> how many lockpicks I have. Uh, let's take a look. Let's see how many lockpicks I've got. Scroll down here and take a look at lockpicks. Um, 364 lockpicks. <laughs> That's a lot of lockpicks. It's good because I go through them. And then I've been told that in two weeks I could return to Dawnguard and speak with Serana here and maybe get another chance to cure her of her vampirism. So let's see if I remember to do that. I'm in two weeks game time. I have no idea how to tell whether two weeks game time has passed. I mean, I see here that it's the fourth of first seed, but uh, I know what two weeks from then is. But uh, we'll see if I remember to do that in a couple of weeks game time. It was mentioned that uh, Sorin and Gunmar still have quests for me in um, Dawnguard that I could go back and do the stuff for them. But to be honest with you, I'm not sure how interested I am in that. I mean, I don't know. They're just fetch quests, right? I don't know. So I'm not too excited about doing that. I don't even know where the... Uh, okay, so Serene wants me to... Retrieve this Dwemer Exploding Firebolt schematic from Falbathars. I don't even know where Falbathars is. And then, um, as far as what Gunmar asked me to do, I think I finished his last question, and I don't think I asked him for another one. And then there's also Fiorentinus, or whatever the heck his name is. Uh, and I do not, I do not remember him at all. <laughs> I even went on, I even went and read, like, because a couple of people were like, you don't even remember who Fiorentinus is. No, I don't. Uh, so I went and read who Fiorentinus was, and I still don't remember him. Uh, but apparently he's at Fort Dawnguard, and he may have some quests for me to do, too. And then somebody suggested that uh, I should give Serana the armor that I got from her father, from Harkon. And that's kind of an interesting, I an interesting idea. I'm assuming that it's this vampire royal armor here that uh, allows Magicka to regenerate 125% faster. I'm kind of disappointed that that's all it does. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with this. This is pretty good. But, I don't know. I figured there'd be something more vampire-y. But uh, we could give that to her. And then the weapon that we got from um, Harkon here is Harkon's sword. And this is kind of cool. It absorbs... 15 points of health, magicka, and stamina if wielded by a vampire. So we could give her that as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Hi, Serana. Yes? Uh, you know, um, I need to train some th trade some things with you. If you think it'll help. Well, I mean, hopefully it'll help you. Uh, I'm going to give you this uh, ro vampire royal armor. Let's see if she puts it on. Uh, if she did, it looks exactly like the other armor she had on. Um can't say for sure that she put no she did not put it on she would rather wear um this other stuff i guess 
right? I don't know. It doesn't have a little arrow by it, so that makes me think she's not wearing it. What if I take this other stuff back from her? These boots, these gauntlets, this circlet. I mean, no sense in taking back the shield. So all she has is this vampire royal armor. She's not wearing it. She's not putting it on. So why does she not put on the vampire royal armor? She won't wear it. I don't know what to tell you. She's not wearing it. Uh, I guess I give her this circlet back. And um, these gauntlets. She wears them, I think. I think she wears them. Crap, I just gave her something else I didn't want to. I give her my armor. Yeah, she. it looks like she's wearing them. So, I don't know. At least she's wearing that. And then what was she wearing? These boots? These steel plate boots of muffling? Is that what she was wearing? I, I can't tell. I can't see her feet, so I have no idea whether she's going to wear them or not. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, if she won't wear it, she won't wear it. I don't know what to tell you. I gave it to her. Put it on. It looks like she wears light armor. See, again, another thing. I, I guess I'd have to go online and read about that. I could give her, uh, Harkon's sword. No indication whatsoever that she's going to use that. So anyway, I did it. If I did it wrong, please nicely let me know. Oh, she's not even wearing the circlet anymore? What now? Did I take it back from her? Anything good? She's got the circlets. I don't know why she's, she's not using the sword. Um, I mean, I guess I could take this back from her and force her to use the sword. Okay, so now she's at least going to use the sword. Now she put the Circlet of Extreme Magicka back on. I don't know why she took it off a second ago. Serana, you're confusing me, and it's hurting my brain. So, at the end of the last episode, I walked over here. Whoa, okay. Uh, I walked over here because at some point I thought somebody told me that there was some caves or something back here and uh, so I wanted to go check it out so we're gonna kind of check out this area here why do I feel real short all of a sudden we're gonna check this area out see if there's anything here and then I'm gonna decide what it is that I'm gonna do next um, I, I actually had planned on maybe before I started jumping back into this game to like go back and like you know look through my quests and through my inventory and just kind of refresh myself remind myself of some things uh, before I started uh, recording again, but they just things just don't work out that way. Um, it, uh, I mean, I could, but you know, I, I live in this it's not a big house, but it's not a small house either uh, with my girlfriend, and uh, I prefer to record when she's not here. Um, this office that I'm in, I, I hate it. It has these uh, barn doors on it, which I despise. Everybody's like, eh, barn doors! Barn doors suck. Wonders suck because they don't really block out sound. And so, you know, when I'm in here in my office, even if I close the barn doors, there's still this gap. And so I hear everything that goes on out in the hallway. And then I'm self-conscious that, you know, she can hear me recording, although she says she doesn't care. Um, but anyway, my point is, is that I prefer to record when she's not here. And so this morning, this first morning that we're back from our trip, uh, she said, hey, I'm going to go run some errands. I'll be back in a couple hours. So I'm like, oh, well, I guess I better record then. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's, uh, that's why I've just jumped right into recording without doing much research at all other than read your comments. So I'm not seeing anything over here. Uh, perhaps I misunderstood, but I could have swore somebody said that there was um, some... Like a cave or something behind these uh, these this waterfall, but uh, I don't see anything. So that's kind of a bummer because I was kind of looking forward to that to uh, kind of take up some time in this episode before I decide really what it is I'm going to do next. <laughs> Serana swimming around down there. Um. Yeah, I mean, unless there's a way I could get up there, but I don't think that there is. Don't think that there is a way to get up there. 
Oh my gosh. Dangerous music. A mud crab. Huh. Okay, well, um... Golly gee. But this does remind me of something else. That, uh, since I don't see anything here, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to Fort Dawnguard. I'm reminded now... Uh... Or I'm remembering now... Pardon me, oh crab. Pardon me, sir. Uh, that there is, like, a cave or something in Fort Dawnguard that I didn't go down into because I probably said something like, I'll wait till the game tells me to go there. The game never did. So let's go back. And by the way, how beautiful is this game? It is lovely. Catch some butterflies if you want. Come on, mud crab. Are you really following me all the way up here? This music is inappropriate for this beautiful scene that we're walking through right now. Who's this? Yisra knows how to fight those monsters. He's been preparing for this day for a long time. Oh yeah? Okay, well. I took out the head monster. Is our vampire still a problem? That will not take me up to Fort Dawnguard, I don't believe. Still find the path to Fort Dawnguard hard to follow. These people here... We talked to them at the end of the last episode. They seem like refugees, almost. Oh, here's, um... I'm glad we're finally taking the fight to those monsters. Uh -huh. And, uh... Huh? Vori. Huh? Hmm? Yeah, I, I said her name, so she's like, huh? There's a path that way, too. But let's, let's go back in here. I think it was, like, in the back of this place somewhere. Where was this? This back corner, I feel like. Yeah, back in here. Let's see if this takes us anywhere. Who's this? Is that Soreen? Ingyard. Even rags would be preferable to your current wardrobe. Or lack thereof. Uh huh. So I can ask her what I could do to help. She's just going to send me in some radiant quest. Let's see what she gives us. Speak with Florentius. Oh, okay. He has something for you. Okay. Florentius. Speak with Florentius Banius for assignment. Okay. All right. Well, if I ever run into him, maybe I'll do that. So this is the cave I was talking about. Uh, Dead Drop Falls. Well, let's see where this takes us. Maybe this is um, the behind the falls thing that was mentioned in the comments. Okay. Well, she's... Yeah, we know she's using that sword now, but... I still don't understand why she refuses to wear that cool armor that I gave her. It's disappointing. What are we going to find in here? I'm going to go into my quests and just turn them all off. Oh my. It's a long way down, huh? I mean, we'd probably be okay if we fell down there. Of course, we don't know how deep the water is. Don't go jumping in water if you don't know how deep it is. It's just a little, a little bit of advice there for you. Ooh, there's a chest up here if I can get up here. And I can. Yeah, well, let's see. Let's see what somebody left in this chest. Uh, Corunda Mingot. Some gold. A greater soul gem. It's not filled, but we'll take it anyway. And a potion. I like potions. Potions are good. Let's see if there's anything up here. Huh, thanks for the light. That's, that's useful. Okay, not seeing anything here. So I guess what we need to do is drop down here. And uh, just see where it takes us. Uh, I could play it safe by becoming ethereal. Fight! There. Probably would have been okay anyway, but let's just play it safe. Okay. Did 
uh, Serana to follow us down here? I don't know. Kind of dark down here, unsurprisingly. We are in a cave. Oh, there's different ways to go. Okay, let's see if I can get out of this water. Okay, so we got a path that way, it looks like. And I thought I saw another path over here. Let's get a little bit of light going on. Maybe C. So we got a little pathway here. Interesting. Hmm, not sure which way I should go first. Let's go back and take a look at this room. See if it's a dead end or if it really goes anywhere. That was weird. I wonder why that's all white looking there. Right? Kind of strange. <laughs> Graphical anomalies. Let's see what this is. If I can get out of the water. Come on, dude. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Look at that. Look how strange that water looks. That doesn't look right at all. That's kind of disappointing. Go through all that trouble to install all those mods, and then this is what I end up with. Uh, I guess this water isn't deep enough to go swimming in, really. Get some light here. Come on. Get out of the water. Yeah, okay, whoa. Oh, there's a hole here. Nothing in it. I guess I'm here by myself. I guess Serana's like, Pfft. I'm not jumping down there. Alright, can I get out of the water, please? There we go, here's a little ramp, okay. Well, yeah, let's walk up this ramp. See where it takes us. Oh, ooh! Interesting. A door that I don't seem to have the option to open. That's just some chain or lever hiding around here. Alright, maybe we could get at it from the other side. A woodcutter's axe. There is a lever here, but it's just going to open that. Coin purse mine. 12 gold added. <laughs> There's Serana. Oh, no way. I just made my way back up here. <laughs> okay. Huh. Well, that um, certainly leaves a question unanswered as to how to get past that door that we saw. Hmm. Crap. Okay, well there's still... I believe there's still another path that we could take. That's so funny that Serrano was still standing there. Is she not even going to follow me in here? Huh? Serrano? She's going to stand down there? Uh, apparently she is. Serrano, what are you doing? Come here. You, can, you may be of use. Oh, actually, she might not be able to get up here. You know? They could... Yeah, because I kind of like... I feel like I cheated my way up here. Ah, oh, crap, can I not get back? There we go. Yeah, she can't get up here. Okay, Saran, I'll, I'll be seeing you a little, little bit later on. We're going to go back here, and we're going to go this other way, and maybe this will allow us to get to the other side of that door. Plausible. Probable, I would even say. Like I said, it's been several weeks since I last recorded um, this game, and I'm like, man, I sure hope I'm doing this right. I have this fear that I think I'm recording, but I'm not. It's happened before. And then I have to redo an episode, which is not 
fun. Well, I, you know, I only have a limited amount of time. And uh, having to redo an hour of gameplay is not the best use of my time. Cool smoke effects over there. That's kind of neat. We've got ourselves a, 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 a skeever that was caught in a trap. Oh, here's a little chest back here. What's in it? An ebony ingot, some gold, and a potion of minor healing. Whoops. <laughs> That's just, um, I don't know, walk around the perimeter of this place, I guess. What are we going to find here? Oh, oh, gosh. Okay. I feel like I was just sucked underwater. <laughs> what is that up there? There's like a little platform up there. Maybe like target practice even. What the heck? Is that where we came in over there? I'm not even sure. I think it is. I think we've made the rounds here. Bring some light back. Huh. Well, um... yet. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised that I haven't come across an enemy, uh, but I'm also kind of <laughs> glad. It's kind of nice to just be able to walk around without always having to fight something. Oh, I just set off a trap. There's one right there, too. But I was moving quickly, so nothing got me. Somebody set up traps down here. Dagger. A couple pieces of gold. Make sure this chest isn't trapped. Ah, it's empty even. Oh! Oh! Well, that was scary. Let's see what else is down here? Somebody's somebody's hiding something down here. Oh, ouch! <laughs> this is cool. Guess that's it? Is that the pressure plate? Ah, here's a lever. Steel bolts. Oh, okay, that did the opposite of what I wanted it to do. So there's a little target practice over there. Oh, what the heck? Huh. <laughs> okay. Looks like we got ourselves a little bit of a puzzle to solve here, maybe. Because if I pull this... It lowers that one, but raises this one. Huh. Interesting. Gosh, there's another platform over there. I mean, can I whirlwind sprint over to there? But if I, I pull this, I don't... Whoa, I don't know if I could whirlwind sprint over there or not. I don't know. But that might be my option here. I don't know, man. It's interesting. Let's try it. Let's whirlwind sprint over there. 
Oh no, Not I ever shot it. Oh, now I gotta wait for my shout to recharge before I could try it again. Knock on it. Come on, get out of the water. Hmm. Oh darn it, I did it again. Not real sure how else to do this. Oh. Well, how the hell did that happen? Alright. <laughs> We're not going to worry about it. Oh, that closed that gate up there. Okay. Well, I guess that's how we're going to do it. Can't get back now. I could probably just plop down there. Is that a lever? It's like a lever behind that target, isn't there? Is that what I'm seeing right there? What? Oh, doggone it, man. Okay, I go way further than I think. I don't know why I thought that if I just pointed at something, that's where I would cask to. Oh, it got me that time. Hmm. I'm all, I'm all intrigued now. Also wondering, is there something interesting over there? I think it's just like a lantern. But, uh, up there. What am I seeing? Oh, dog god. Wow, that hurt a lot. Look at my health. Yowza. That's, um... That's a big chunk of health gone there. Sheesh. Good thing Serana didn't follow me down here, I guess. It's because it's dangerous. So, what's the secret here? Do I just flip these switches until... until they're the way I want them? Okay. So I've got a toggle. So maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just seeing the Yeah, I don't think there is a lever back there. I think I'm just seeing the supports for the target. I guess. Try not to fall off again. I think that's all that is. It's just the port support for the target. Okay, so there's not a lever over there. However, I do want to go through that door. That gate here. So, here we are. Oh, is this it? Now what? Well, I mean, I know where this is going to take me, so... There's not really a whole lot of incentive to get through it other than solving the puzzle of how to open the gate. Right? So, um... Is it possible to shoot levers with arrows and uh, activate them that way? Is that, is that possible? Honestly, don't know. I don't want to use a blood cursed elven arrow. Don't want to use that. So we'll go back into my inventory. And um, what is the wimpiest, crappiest arrow I've got? These four sworn arrows. We use these. Hmm. 
Well, that does not seem to be working. I mean, it's worth a shot. Right? Oh. There is a lever over there. Oh. Glad I have 488 L or four sworn arrows to waste. So I have to shoot it from here. Oh, this is kind of cool. Huh. So that tells me that this other target over here probably did something as well. Or not. Huh, this is kind of neat. Like I said, there's no reason to do this other than just to solve the mystery of how to open it. Of course, now I'm trapped outside of the place, but um, we saw it. So, the heck? Wait a minute. Oh, this is a different place. Oh, okay. This is not that door we saw earlier. Here's a book, Uncommon Taste. Pretty sure we already read that. As a matter of fact, I have my notes right here, believe it or not. And uh, I could very slowly, and I do mean slowly, scroll down here and see if we've read Uncommon Taste. I'm pretty sure that we have. It sounds familiar. Uncommon Taste. Yes, indeed, we have read it. So we got these pressure plates here. We got one up there, too. Well, I'm going to think that we want to shoot this to remain on theme. Hmm. Just bounced off. Let's go ahead and stand on these and see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? This one is the book here. I mean, is the book trying to tell me something? The book was about... Oh, that's right. He's talking about how to make some food. Okay, that does not seem to be related to anything at all. In my opinion. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, at least that time, felt like I saw the target move. <laughs> the heck am I doing? Huh. Well, oh, there's some bolts here. So is it like my hint that I should be using my bolts instead of my arrows? I don't know. I hate these bolts. I don't have as many bolts. What just happened? Something hit me? Not sure. There better be something cool in here, man. This is a pain in the butt. I mean... This book is not heavy enough to trap the, to trigger this, is it? I don't think so. Is there any hint? As to what I should be doing here. Oh, what is that? Huh, I don't know. There's like a little flash of light when I do that. Maybe it's just because... In the animation, I look up, see the light that's over top of my head. Huh. Um. I can't pick up the sack. Can't pick up the barrel. Um. <laughs> 
You can take my arrows back. <laughs> uh. Huh. I mean. Pretty sure. I'm supposed to shoot it with an arrow. I use my bow. Okay, so don't hit the trigger, hit the target. Well, that makes zero sense, but hey, whatever. Okay, we got another target here. That is probably going to open this little gate right here. Oh, and then the treasure room, now we're talking. Nothing. Okay. I freaking knew it. I freaking knew it. I was just getting ready to say, I sure hope this isn't timed. All right. Okay. We got a door here. To dead drop mine. Ooh, there's more to this place, it looks like. Serrano, you're really missing out. There's some cool stuff in here. Pretty clever stuff. Something a little different than the usual. I like it. We got a chest here that could very well be trapped. Don't see anything. Got some gold. I'm not even gonna bother with that. Ring of peerless wielding. One-handed attacks. I don't care about that, but I'll take it. Spell Tome. And then this other stuff that's not worth anything. I'm not going to bother. Some Ebony Ore. That's certainly worth something. Uh, exploding Steel Bolts. Oh, there's some cool bolts in here. We've got Confessions of a Khajiit Fur Trader. Haven't read that one. That one I don't even think is in my notes. I don't think I've even come across this book before. Confessions. No, I don't. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and pick this up. And then uh, we'll take it. And we'll read that at the end of this episode. That sounds like a good idea. Here's some iron ingots, a gold ingot. Iron's not really worth picking up. Coin purse. Got some flowers. What's been going on down here? Meads. And obviously that's going to open that door for us. So I never did look at the map of this place, did I? Well, it looks like we've explored it pretty thoroughly. Except that there's uh, another way to dead drop a mine over here. Not sure how I missed that. But, here's a way to dead drop mine here. So let us venture forth in the de dead drop mine. Let's see if Serana joins us in here. She might. She's she's known to teleport. Uh, but this is not one of those times. Okay. Somebody's been hanging out down here. Corundum? I don't know. Don't mind if I do. Dagger. Got some Corundum ore. So somebody's been mining down here. Salt pile. Oh, we got... Okay. Uh, some more ore. I love this handy little spell. Wish it lasted longer, though. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's see where this takes us. Like a rug. You know, so that when you're using your pickaxe, you're like, you know, you have to get on your knees. You throw that rug down. Don't hurt your knees. Okay, we got a little ramp that goes up there. Walk way through here. Uh, for some reason, there are some mud gr mud crab chitin in here. I guess maybe this is like their food that they prepared. I'll take your potions. I'm gonna leave everything else. Vampire dust is worth quite a bit. Why is there vampire dust down here? Maybe it's good that Serana's not with us. That would be weird. It would be awkward. Steel bolts. I'll take those. More steel bolts. So that makes me think that there may be more targets that we have to shoot in here. But uh, I'm more than, more than okay with using one of my thousands of arrows over using my hundreds of bolts. Okay. Another book. <laughs> the Sultry Argonian Bard, Volume 1. That's, um... That's one we haven't read either. Alright, I have to make a note of that. It's a flute. More steel bolts. Oh, interesting. Crossbow here. Aiming in that direction. It almost looks like this is part of a trap. What's going on up here? I think there's a hole there. Dead drop falls. Um, isn't that where I just was? Oh, okay. Yeah, this. Nope. Thought maybe that was a trigger, but it's not. Uh, is this it? This is the whole place. Dead drop falls. Dead drop falls. Okay, this is it. Huh. And this is going to take us to that other place we just saw on the map before, I guess. Huh. Okay. And now we're here. And Serana should be right. Oh no, she's not. I'm. I was wrong. But we've already been here. I believe. Oh, this is the target. No, there she is, right there. Okay, I'm all turned around. Uh, okay. Well, there you go. That was Dead Drop Falls and Mine. Um, kind of cool, I guess. Kind of hoping that maybe... I don't know, I always hope for a little bit more exposition. You know, maybe a book, maybe a diary. Or somebody, you know, we get to read. You know, why was somebody here? What were they doing? Well, apparently they were just doing some mining, I guess. Uh, I will say it was kind of refreshing. Uh, to go to a place without enemies and instead traps. That was kind of cool, I liked that. So I guess somebody here like to do some mining and they wanted to keep it secret or something. Huh? What's wrong? You want to go hunt some vampires? Skiolang? Uh, sorry, maybe next time. Yeah, I don't, I do not want a dog running around with me. Here's Bran. Yeah, same thing. Okay. Maybe next time. Maybe never. Uh-huh. At least that bark is different than the other dog's bark. Which I found highly annoying. Well, um, we're here. So, let's see if we could find Florentius. Speak with Florentius Banius for assignment. We're here, why not? Let's go see what he's got. Hey, what's up, Florentius Banius? 
Arke's been watching over me for years now. Yeah. He says he's not too sure about you yet, though. Oh, okay. Well, he, so he sells stuff. Look, I'll be honest with you. I have no idea. But I'm sure we can find something worth your time. Yeah. Let's see here. Do I want to sell him anything? Just to get it out of my inventory here. He's got 506 gold. So, here, we'll sell him this Elven Bow of the Blaze. I mean, it's cool. It's a cool weapon. It's actually a very cool weapon. Um, we'll sell him Ariel's Bow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, well, what can I sell him that he could afford? Necklace of Major Wielding. There. I have no intention of ever using that. There we go. Didn't weigh much, but it was worth a lot. Hey, come here. Okay, bless you. Oh, he's not going to walk over here, is he? He's not. He's just going to go back to sleep, doggone it. I wanted him to come over here in the light so I could, like, actually see him when I talk to him. You know, when you're when you're doing something like this, you always have to keep things like thumbnails in mind. You know, I need to make a thumbnail for this episode. And, um, I don't think I've, like, talked to anybody in the light to, to use for a thumbnail. And he's over here in the dark. Let's see if this works. Hey, dude. I once killed 30 vampires with my bare hands, you know. Ask RK, he'll tell you. Okay. Okay, we got a little bit of light here now. Here, we'll do this. There. It's it's pain in the butt making a uh, thumbnail when you've got all this stuff down here, because then I have to kind of, like, get rid of it. Hey, man, what can I do to help? RK has some grave news for Oh, no. Your friend, kidnapped. <gasps> what? A vicious night stalker rules over a group of bandits. Seeks to gain leverage over the righteous. Oh, yeah. Ake is never clear on life and death. Is she still alive? There's always hope. Rescue Catla from Fort Fellhammer. Hmm. That sounds like fun. Catla, huh? He said it was our friend. Arke has been watching over me for years. Catla. He says he's not too sure Anybody about Anybody remember Catla? Okay, so this is an actual quest quest called Rescue. Florentius Banius has learned that a master vampire has kidnapped Catla and is keeping her prisoner in Fort Fellhammer. Let's see where this is on the map. Ooh. Over here. There's like two. I'll kill the vampire and rescue Catla. I mean, the name Catla sounds a little familiar, but... I don't know. Doesn't necessarily mean that I... It's the same name. So way up here, Fort Fellhammer is where we need to go. Yet, though. And, um... There we go. There's our thumbnail right there. That's pretty good. Although I've used Serana a lot in thumbnails, but, you know, she's been with me for quite a while. <laughs> Salan, Agmer, Dirac. Let's, uh, let's see if I can find Gunmar, or whatever his name is. Where's he gonna be? I have no idea. I mean, if he's sleeping, where does he sleep? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna help myself to these steel bolts. You don't mind, do you? And these arrows. Take those. Gunmar, he's sleeping somewhere. He may have been, very well been in that room I was just in, and I just missed him. These guys are rude. They don't even talk to me. They don't even turn to look at me. Oh. Apparently I could help myself to this stuff now if I so wanted, but I kind of like it sitting here. Ooh, here's a book I haven't read yet. Oh, a spell tome for Sunfire. Let's take that. No. Let's read that right now. Because I don't have that one. Spell tome. Hello? Um, huh? Oh, why didn't I see that? Anyway, read. Alright, we just learned Sunfire. Thank you very much.
Yeah, I don't know where old Gunmar is. Or even if I'm saying his name correctly, I don't even know. There he is. Cozy little place, isn't this? Hey man, uh, what do you have for sale? What do you need? Blades? Ooh, he's got a lot of gold. Speaking materials? So, we can, uh, sell him this ebony sword of winnowing. I'll never use this. It's cool, don't get me wrong, but I'm quite happy with my, uh, ebony fire greatsword, so we'll stick with that. So we'll sell this off to him, and then, uh, we will also sell off... We got all these stabs here. We got all these things, man. Sell him one of those. And, uh, we'll also sell him this ancient Falmer crown. It's kind of neat. Where did I get that from? Ancient Falmer gauntlets. I mean, I could maybe hang on to this stuff and put it on a mannequin in one of my many houses, but it's hard to keep track of all that crap. Glass boots, we'll sell him that. I don't know why I'm carrying leather bracers. Uh, I don't know why I'm killing, carrying this chitin. Just get rid of this, some of this stuff that weighs a little bit. And, um... I'm not, uh, probably not going to be doing any mining in the near future. So, we'll get rid of that. And, um... We will find something that... Just bleed this guy dry, man. Um... I'll never use this. Oop, okay. Hey, dude, what can I do to help? Give me some, give me a, give me something to do. Speak with Florentius. Oh. He has something for you. Okay, so Gunmar is just sending me to Florentius. Good luck. And Florentius has already given us something to do. Yeah, that's it. And I'm not interested in learning Farewell. anything about restoration, I don't think. now, but we can't stay hold up here forever. Yeah. All right. Well, okay, so, uh, yeah, maybe next episode we go up to, uh, Fellhammer and rescue Catla. That's something to do, right? Something to look forward to. Well, that was kind of cool, going in those caves and stuff. I kind of, kind of liked that. Before we end this episode, you know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to read ourselves a book, and the book that we're going to read is Confes Confessions of a Khajiit Fur Trader. And then I need to keep in mind that I also have the sultry Argonian bard to read. We don't want to forget about that. Confessions of a Khajiit fur trader. My execution is tomorrow. The turnkey asks what I'd like for my last meal. Bring me paper, I say. A quill and a candle. Perhaps the Jarl would like a confession. I would rather pass the time. When my father's harem burned down and our family fortune was lost to the ashes, my brother and I set to begging in the gutters of elsewhere. I will never forget the first time we stole a traveler's purse. It was almost by accident. Just a slip of the claw and the pouch fell into our hands. We ate like kings that night. We slept in a, war in a warm bed for the first time in months. Soon after, my brother and I took up the knife. The gang we joined treated, treated us as the dirty orphans we were. We robbed, we scammed, we cut and ran for year, we cut and ran, and years of debauchery and hard living took their toll. I lost half my left ear in a knife fight with a blind, drunk Argonian. I wanted to give up, but my brother, he dreamed bigger, better. My brother wanted to make it to Cyrodiil and become legit merchants. We had a plan. One final heist of a northbound caravan said to be filled with jewels. Something went wrong. My brother could not stop the horses on time, and I stood helplessly by and watched the wagon plummet over a cliff. But as I picked through the wreckage, my devastation turned to excitement. There were no jewels, but there were plenty of luxurious wolf pelts, horker tusks, and mammoth hides, more than enough to buy my way to Cyrodiil. I'd follow in the footsteps of so many of my kind, a traveling merchant, someone with a respectable profession. I had all the furs bundled in my pack when I saw my brother's broken body. His ears were still warm, and I shut his eyes for the last time. This was his dream, and he would want me to go. But what I wanted, well, the caravan guards were coming, I had to go, but I couldn't just leave his body to rot. 
My brother gave me my first skin. It was to be a memento. But in the darkness of the fence's cabin, the coin hit my hand heavy. Then she looked at my brother's pelt and offered three times the amount of any other fur. Disgust caught in my throat, but did not live very long. I realized the cost of such a forbidden luxury, the value, the demand, the respect. This is what I wanted. It became easier, a dark alley, a gag in one hand, and a quick slice across the throat. Gently hold the body as it bleeds. I became faster, my cuts precise and fluid. I peeled the skin with one motion and kept the merchandise pristine in one piece. I became rich, far richer than anyone in my family had ever been. Yet I was careful. My stronghold was well hidden and practically impenetrable. I hired the men that used to employ me. We moved frequently on less traveled roads when we hunted in the wild. We stalked the back alleys we used to sleep in when we hunted in the city. I grew so rich that I no longer needed my to dirty my own hands. Patchwork colored furs fetched the best price among the Bosmer. Argonians preferred the pelts completely skinned and tanned. Orcs prized the thick waterproof leather of the Argonians. Humans most often bought tails and ears. I had to employ an alchemist and a master craftsman for a couple odd requests, but they didn't ask questions when the gold piled up. And now I'm a prisoner. Maybe I became careless. Maybe I let too many secrets slip between the sheets. The raid of my fortress was a massacre. They took me alive, barely. That was their mistake. My enemies should have killed me when they had the chance. I have one lockpick, and the northern wall of my cell is weak from disrepair. My head shall not roll tomorrow. I am not finished with the trade. There will, there will always be buyers. Someday I will sell my own skin for a king's ransom, as my name is legend, and yours shall rot in the gutters with your bones. The fur trader. Well, that was messed up. It's pretty messed up, don't you think so, Serena? Well, thanks for joining me on this episode of Skyrim. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know? Maybe leave me a like or a comment. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. Click the little bell so you're notified whenever I post videos. And in case you didn't know, I have a Patreon. I'd like to join my Patreon. Help support the channel and uh, see stuff over there that I don't post anywhere else. It's at patreon.com slash mentalfox. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sure you'll be joining me again in the next episode.